We've had this graduate program running for about seven years by now, and I was really hoping to start reaching out to the larger Juilliard community. I figured that Baroque as a second language would be a great way of bringing in modern students to learn this language for the first time, the same way they learn to speak Schoenberg or Wagner or Mozart. That's it. This class, Baroque as a Second Language, is a way for modern instrumentalists to get a shot at this whole canon of repertoire that often modern instrumentalists tend to be kind of reluctant to tackle. It's a very detailed language, but in a way it's going back to total basics about how you approach music. It's some really wonderfully um, essential elements that come to the fore with this. With historical performance, it's really the most pure form of playing. You kind of strip away any bad habits because they're so obvious, and that helps with playing other music as well. The Baroque repertoire is the first music I really fell in love with. I mean, I remember having long car rides as a child with my parents listening to Italian Baroque oboe concertos. Often this whole 150 years of repertoire gets entirely overlooked. It's really nice to get a shot at that. All these things relate to the, the way the instruments work. Everything like phrasing and note lengths, articulation, the size and length and weight of the bows. These are things I had thought a lot about to begin with, but in the context of Baroque music, working with Robert Mealy, you learn so much about why these performance practices exist. The difference between forte and piano and the difference between fast and slow is as extreme as the difference between light and shade. So it's like brilliant sunlight and then suddenly you enter into a dark church and it's totally black. We're all in the same boat where we don't know much about either, you know, historical performance, early music. It's like a very comfortable place um, where we're experimenting. Professor Mealy is doing an awesome job of um, like guiding us and kind of hinting and showing us how he would approach the style and the music. So it's been really inspiring. To me, I mean, Juilliard is really what you make of the experience. They have you know, two new music ensembles and this historical performance class. There's so much that you can explore. I'm a big believer in putting yourself in situations that are challenging, especially as an artist. I think it's important to have a bunch of experiences and then from that, your artistic voice develops. It's a seed that will continue to grow and involve more and more students in the school. That's a thrilling part for me to open their ears to these new sounds. <laughs>